Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this look right here. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a makeup tutorial and I'm so glad that I was able to sit and create this look for you guys. So in case you guys have not been able to tell, rhinestones has been a trend. And I believe the character Maddie from Euphoria is who brought this trend back. I've never watched the show, but I've looked at multiple and multiple images of Maddie, the character from the show Euphoria, and the makeup looks that she has are stunning. So I got some ideas and inspo from there and kind of created my own look. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how to create this entire makeup look right here, then please keep watching. Okay, so I already started with one eye. We're going to go ahead and start by priming the eyes and I'm grabbing the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and we're going to go ahead and just prime our lids as usual. Please don't mind my face. It is going through some things I've been breaking out. I don't know why, but we'll cover that up once we're done with the eyes. I just wanna make sure that there isn't any fallout, so I'm gonna leave the face till the very end. So for today, we're gonna to be using the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I just got this in the mail a couple days ago and the colors are so, so, so beautiful. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the shade Bare right here and just apply that all over my eyes. That's just going to be the base. Next up is I'm gonna grab the color Chai and with a blending brush, I'm just gonna put that on the upper area of my crease. I'm then gonna grab a smaller blending brush and I'm grabbing the color Boy, I think that's how they pronounce it. And then this is just gonna go on top of Chai. And then again, I'm just following the same steps. I don't really wanna drag that down. I'm now gonna grab just a little bit of Cindy. And I just want a soft wash of coral right on the upper portion of my crease. So I'm just swiping it over everything that I just put on. Okay, so now what we can do to make sure the lid area is nice and bright, we can go back into bare and just put it on the lid area just to erase any shadows that could have fallen in there and to make this area nice and bright. And then you can grab a blending brush with nothing on it. Just go over it one more time just to make sure everything is blended nice. You could even go a little bit with boy and then just literally, if you point your brush this way, that way you make sure it's not touching your lid and you're just adding a little bit of more of that. It's mainly going in the outer portion area right here. So I think now we're ready to start with the eyeliner. So take your time, grab your eyeliner. I'm just grabbing the e.l.f. Jet Black Eyeliner. It's really good and it's like three bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my liner. Take your time. I gotta get the mirror closer to me because I just need to. So what I like to do is I just like to start from the middle Sorry guys, I can't talk as I do this, so just watch what I'm doing. If you have a hard time using something like this, because this is a little bit harder to use, you could use gel liner, you could use black shadow, trace it with the black shadow, then you can go over with something like this. Now when I create the wing and I'm trying to figure out where to put it, I follow the lower lash line, but I also pay attention to where my crease is. So my eye crease is right here. So I kind of want to cover the wing a little bit where my crease is, kind of just angle it that way. You just want to keep in mind from where your lower lash starts, make sure it's covering that line and then up to your brow bone and just try to match it with how high you want your wing to be. And then just connect it. You don't want to start the line from the very tip. You kind of want to start it a little bit lower so you have that thicker to thinner going on. But the good thing about this look is that you have... Oh, I'm probably, I probably wasn't in focus. Sorry about that. The good thing about this look is you have some shadows going on and rhinestones and stuff. So it's not perfect. It's okay. You can get away with it. Walking downtown and I'm okay. 
So just make sure you let that dry for a couple minutes before you start blending it in with your shadow because you don't want that black liner to go everywhere. So you can always go back to your liner after you've used your shadows and then you can kind of see if you need more or less. So it's okay if you don't have it perfectly shaped. Um, the good thing about doing your eye makeup first is you can always use some wipes or concealer to just cut that liner if you did make any mistakes. But once that liner has been dried, I'm gonna go into OA, OA. Oa and Jode. I don't think I'm pronouncing these names right, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the darker blue. At first, when I saw those colors, I'm like, they are very alike. And I'm just gonna go over the black liner basically on top of it and start smoking it out. Now you can go into Jode and I'm just going to be smoking it further out. So I'm using an angled eyeliner brush to get like precise and not have this go all everywhere. Um, but just to be able to blend it out further, I'm just grabbing the brush that came with the palette, flat end right here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Boy and start smoking that line out further. So I'm kind of stamping it and flickering out, but you wanna take your time because you don't want this to go everywhere. I'm focusing that color mainly in the outer corner and then whatever's left over, I'll just take it into the outer part of my crease. All right, and now I'm just gonna grab a small blending brush. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. This is the M506. And I'm just going to barely be blending that outer portion out with Boy just so that there isn't any harsh lines. This color is really going only in the outer corner. I'm making sure that the smokiness part is staying in the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush, a little bit with Cindy and Chai, and just smoking out my crease area again. Okay, now at this point, you probably covered all the black liner with shadows, so you can go over your liner and draw back wherever you want the black to pop up more, so I just wanna focus that on the outer part of my eye. And also at this point, you can make the liner as long as you want, and sharpen it and perfect it a little bit more. Okay, so now time for the fun part, the rhinestones. I just got those online. You can get them on eBay, on Amazon, your art store, craft store, wherever you would like. Um, so I like this because it has different sizes so I could really play around with it. First, originally I was planning on doing the rhinestones as an eyeliner, but then I kind of liked the way this was going on. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna grab some lash glue. I'm using clear lash glue. This is the Pure Pro Eyelash Glue, but really any lash glue will work. And I'm gonna start with the inner corner. I'm using the smallest rhinestones that there is to place four of them. Is that what I have? One, two, three, four, yep. Four of them in the inner corner. So you could either do a swipe or you could just kind of play it and dot it where you wanna place it. And I'm gonna grab some tweezers. All I do to grab it is I grab it from the actual paper itself. So I'm just gonna grab the tweezer and I'm gonna grab the smallest one, pick it out like so, and dot the first one in the very inner corner. And let's just hope they match. Okay, I think that looks fine. We're gonna grab another one, another small one, and just leave a little bit of a space and place the another one next to it and hope they match again. Ah! Did that go inside my eye? Oh my God, it's hanging on my eyelash. This is quite dangerous. We got it. I mean, just beware, it's dangerous. Don't poke yourself. Now I'm gonna grab the lash glue again and just draw a line right underneath the wing. I'm then gonna grab the one that's the second smallest in here and I'm gonna place that right underneath my liner in the very outer corner of my eye, um, following the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab another one of the same size and place it next to it. Again, leaving a little bit of a gap. And then we're gonna go back to the small rhinestones and place three more. Okay, so I could tell that this liner is longer than this because I was only able to fit four in here and we were able to fit five in here. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more liner so I'm able to fit one more little rhinestone. Okay, so now that we have the rhinestones in place, we're gonna go back to the Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna grab the flat brush and going back into those blue shades, 
and I'm just going to fill it in between the rhinestones just so we make sure that that blue shade is popping through. Try not to cover the rhinestones though. And then if you feel like you need to add a little bit more blue shadow to pop through, feel free to do that now and smoke out anything that you need to smoke out further. Okay, so I'm not sure how safe it is to curl the lashes with the rhinestones on, so I'm going to skip that. And I'm just gonna apply some mascara before I apply my lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I don't want anything too crazy because the rhinestone is the star of the show, so I want it to peek through. So what I did is I just grabbed, where is it, where is it, what is it that I use? I used the Double Wispies Ardell. I cut them in half and I'm just using the outer corner. That's what I did on this eye. I am gonna be using some mascara to just fluff them out a little bit but I just placed it in the outer corner that way it's not covering my rhinestone but it still gives me a little bit more volume with my lashes I'm gonna let my lashes dry up a little bit before I go in with a coat of mascara and then kind of shape them whichever way I would like okay so we're gonna move on to the face I've seen in Maddie's pictures they're very natural she has very light brows um, not heavy coverage. The skin seems like it's still showing through. I can't promise you that it's gonna be like that because I do want a little bit of coverage. My skin needs it. So we're gonna start by priming my face. I'm grabbing the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. And this is like a moisturizing primer. So if you applied your moisturizer earlier in the day and you don't wanna reapply your moisturizer, this is a nice primer to use to prime your face and also moisturize it. It's very, very, very hydrating. I'm gonna spray a little bit of the Dewy Set Setting Spray by Anastasia. So I'm gonna put the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Foundation Golden Beige. I'm just gonna be putting that in the outer portion of my face. And then I'm gonna grab the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is in the shade Cashmere. This is much lighter than what I am right now, but this is gonna be going in the center of my face. I'm just gonna grab a Real Technique buffing brush and buff that into my skin. And we're gonna try not to apply foundation on your shirt. I actually have to wear this shirt out and I have foundation all over. Please ignore the foundation spot. <laughs> We'll work on that later. The reason why I like to wait till the very end to do my eyebrows is because you have foundation that's gonna be all over it. So this is why I am waiting till the very end to draw them in. Even though I don't think Maddie really has hers drawn in, but we're gonna draw them in a little bit. For concealer, I am gonna be using the ColourPop Pro Filter Concealer in Light 18. Please don't mind that string right here that's showing in the back. I just realized that this was showing the entire time, so. It's a little too late. I'll have to adjust that later and make it not show somehow. You know what? That's gonna bother me right now. Let me try to fix this. Is it still showing? It's still showing. All right, guys, pretend it's not there. I will adjust it again in my next video. I'm gonna grab the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, try to look up and then immediately set. I'm just gonna let that set for just a couple minutes. In the meantime, I am going to, what am I gonna do? Should I do my eyebrows? Yes, in the meantime, we're gonna be doing the eyebrows. I am just going to be brushing them upwards and then filling them in lightly. I know that this makeup look is inspired by Maddie and her eyebrows seems like they're pretty natural but I gotta fill them in a little bit, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ebony to fill them in, and I usually just fill them in in the bottom. So we're gonna try not to overdo it as much as possible. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. I'm gonna shape the brows using the Gimme Brow by Benefit and then just kind of flickering them upwards to the side. This is really preference. Um, sometimes I'm like in the mood of like a feathery brow, sometimes I'm not, so it just depends. We're gonna kind of do it in between. 
Okay, so I think it's time to remove the setting powder. But before I do that, let's go ahead and start doing the lower lash. I think what I wanna do in my lower lash is grab something white maybe. So I'm grabbing this out of the blue palette by Pure and I wanna play around with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna place that color in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm not sure still how I feel about it, but let's just play around for a second. And then I'm gonna grab Jode from the Carly Bible palette and just stamp that on the remaining part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna grab the darker shimmer blue in the palette and then just put that on the very end part of my lower lash line from where the rhinestone begins. I'm gonna grab Boy and just smoke out the outer part of my lower lash line with the blue. And then I'm gonna grab Cindy and then just put that in the inner part of my lower lash line to match kind of, of what we have going on at the top. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do to the eyes is just coat my lashes just so I could give it a little bit more definition since we didn't put a thick lash on. Whew, okay, I feel so pale. We're gonna go ahead and add some bronzer on this face. So I'm just gonna grab the Sorme Contour Kit and use this shade right here and a little bit of this shade. So whenever I'm like not really in the mood to do a perfect contour, I just honestly follow where the ear is right here down and kind of just bronze up my face and then I'll clean it out with like a translucent powder. And I'm gonna be using that shade as well as the blush. I'm gonna grab the banana shade and just go under my eye to brighten up that area a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of pink and just put that on the apples of my cheeks just to give me some color. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna grab MAC Strip Down to line my lips. I'm gonna fill them in a little bit. I honestly feel like in this one picture that I saw, she could be wearing that exact lip liner, or at least it's very close. I'm then gonna grab the NYX Soft Cream in Stockholm and apply that over, nope, that's not the shade. That's not the shade that I wanted. I'll be right back. Found the shade. I'm grabbing NYX by Abu Dhabi. In case you guys did not know, I grew up in Abu Dhabi, so that is like home. I'm gonna apply that in the center. All right, so we're gonna finish this look by adding a little bit of something on my hair. I saw this picture that Maddie had and I really, really liked it and she basically just had like a line of rhinestone in the center. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna part my hair in the center. I also grabbed these online. I got these on eBay. And I, the reason why I like these is because it's literally comes in a straight line so you don't have to pick each one and put it in the line. So I'm thinking I might grab not the smallest one or the biggest one. I'm gonna grab the one in the middle and let's see if I can get it in one string. Yes, I can. I'm trying to debate how I'm supposed to stick this on here. Am I supposed to be using lash glue? I've never done this before. Do I use lash glue? Is that what we're doing? We're just gonna use lash glue uh, for the hair, I feel like, I mean, we use it on our lashes, so why would it not work? So I'm just gonna put some glue in the center of my head, and we're gonna stick it on. Okay guys, I think this is pretty, pretty secure. All right guys, and that is it. This is the completed makeup look right here and the little mini tutorial that literally took two minutes. I for sure would wear this look if I'm going to like a night out or an event or if I wanna be glam. But for those that don't feel so comfortable rocking rhinestones, even though you shouldn't, because I think it's just so super cute, especially if you get the, like the little tiny ones and don't go overboard. I feel like during Halloween would be the perfect time to incorporate some rhinestones in your outfits and it would look so, so, so cute no matter what kind of outfit you're wearing. So yeah. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Before I let you guys go, if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification button right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.